Tyson Fury gave you a little shout out when you first started as well. Yeah. Uh, what's your relationship like with him? Yeah, I, I don't talk to Tyson all the time, but he talks quite a lot to my dad. And um, I've got I, I met his dad, Big John Fury, as well. Mm-hmm. Really, really nice guys. Really, really friendly. Offered me great advice as well. They said, "You've got one career in boxing. The promoters have got a hundred other fighters. The managers have got ten other fighters. You've just got yourself. Mm-hmm. So you've got to make sure that you look after number one." And don't try and be dilly dally for other people. Yes, it's business. Yes, you have great relationships with other people. But in boxing, as soon as you on the wayside or things ain't going right, people will spit you out and forget about you. So yeah. you've got to do what's best for you 100%. 100%. And look at him, he's, he's at the top of the pile. So probably. you've got to take that advice when it comes to you. I mean, he probably could be fighting Usyk or Joe Joyce next. Yeah, Joe Joyce. I personally think it'll be Joe. Yeah, I don't think they're both with Frank Warren. They're both with Frank Warren as well, so that makes it easier. Mm. I think there's rumours of a fight maybe in March, April between Usyk and Fury for the undisputed. Mm -hmm. We'll do it, and then Joyce uh, could be later in the year, so that would be interesting. Are you mates with like Joyce and that as well? Yeah, good friends with Joe Joyce. He's managed by the same guys as me. Mm -hmm. Gone a lot of training camps with him, and um, really, really nice down to earth guy. A lot of people don't give him enough credit for how good he actually is. I gained a lot of credit last fight. Yeah. The one people against are now Parker. Starting, people are now starting yeah. to see what... Because when you look at Joe, yeah, he probably ain't the prettiest fighter. He's not the most fluent. But he's big, he's strong, he's fit, he can punch. He he's can take an unbelievable punch. jaw. Yeah. When you're trying to build a heavyweight, they're probably the core principles that you need to be a good heavyweight. Mm-hmm. So for anyone, and I think Tyson knows it as well, it's going to give him a really, really hard night's work. And you're probably going to have to go 12 rounds against him. So... Mm-hmm. It is grueling. Even when I spar him for six rounds or eight rounds, it's it's hard. It's hard, hard work. So to do that for twelve rounds with ten ounce gloves on, you've got to be something special. So what's he crazy? He'll, he'll, he'll push Usyk yeah. and Fury all the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's crazy yeah. is I didn't realize how hard ten ounce gloves are. Yeah. Until I put ten ounce gloves on once, and I just sort of done it to myself. I was like, oh my god! Yeah. It's basically your knuckle at that point. Yeah, it's it's basically very light yeah, gloves. Yeah, basically, you're you're with bigger gloves, gloves, right? Yeah, like, yeah. The bigger gloves give you a bit of cushion, and it's the it, when you're fighting, they've got different uh, different materials inside. Mm-hmm. I think when you're in sparring gloves, there's more foam and things. I think more padding. I think you've got safety. horsehair. When you fight in fight gloves, I think they're horsehair. I don't know if I'm getting this correct, but it's a different material ah. and it's less dense, and it can transfer the oh. power a lot easier. So that's why you see more knockouts, obviously in. In in fight compared to sparring, because obviously they're, they're smaller gloves and they're not as heavy, so oh. and they're not as dense, so mm. the f- power transfer is a lot, oh. a lot quicker. Because Alim, you you obviously you're the most boxing man here at Busbury. <laughs> I had a couple of amateur um, fights. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> what, what what was you like when you were doing amateurs? What's amateur? Sixteen or fourteen? Uh, no, um, it depends on your weight class. Yeah. So I was fighting in tens as well. Yeah. But the would you be fighting in 12s no? Cause yeah, you're yeah, 12s, yeah, yeah, 12s. But the difference with the amateur gloves is you can't. It's harder to close the fist, yeah. so you've got to really clench. With the uh, with the professional gloves, like they fit in and you you're there. With an mm-hmm. amateur glove, like if you just relax your hands, your hands will probably stay around there, mm-hmm. wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. What club did you uh, box at? Uh, Limehouse Boxing Academy. Oh yeah, nice. nice. F- fairly new, but at the time they were new. I think they're yeah. getting bigger now. They've got a few national champions. Yeah, that's good. Um, so they're growing and. You might see us back there again soon. So, man. 